Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I'm really excited about today's video. It's going to be a collab with my friend Cher. Her channel is Cher Jonathan, and I will have it linked down below. I recommend checking her out. She is so pretty. She does such beautiful makeup looks. She does lots of nice tutorials. She plays with a lot of different palettes, and I really enjoy just her in general. She recently placed her first, I think it was her first, Juvia's Place order and bought a bunch of palettes, and then she wanted to do a palette bingo with me, and I was so down because I'm always down to do a palette bingo and play with Juvia's Place. And like I said, I really enjoy her, so it was just match made in heaven. I just let her pick the three palettes that she wanted to use in this bingo, and she picked the Saharan, the Deuce, do you say? I don't know, and the Magic palette. I love all of these palettes, and I'm really excited to play with them all together. And we're gonna randomly draw two shades from each palette and see what happens. After you watch my video, you better hop on over to her channel, check out her video, see what she got dealt from the palette bingo gods from these palettes and tell her I sent you. So we're just gonna do the Deuce palette first. It has nine shades, so let's get our two shades. We got number eight and three. So we got Creme, which is actually what I'm wearing as my blush today, and Mont Blanc. These colors are so cute right next to each other. Now we're going to do the Saharan, which has 12 shades, and we got number six and eight. So we got Iman Iman, I don't know how to say it, which I used as my highlight today, and Senegal. Goodness gracious, I hope we get some mattes in the magic palette because right now we're at three shimmers in one matte. Right now it looks like Neapolitan ice cream. So in the magic palette there are 16 shades. We got number one and 13. So we got Nubia <laughs> and we got Ife, Iffy. I don't know how to say it. It's like a really dark purple though and it's really pretty. Oh goodness gracious, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm so stumped because I'm just, I'm not a fan on myself of shimmers in the crease. And we have two mattes and four shimmers. I think we can make it work though. I think we can make it work. I just have to stay positive. I'm going to brainstorm, zoom you in, prime my eyes as usual with my Smashbox lid primer and lights. Send me good vibes, thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm gonna just start by taking cream, creme, I don't know how to say it, just all in my crease. It's just gonna be with a fluffy brush, you know? You know how it goes. Just gonna throw this on this eye as well. I usually do one eye at a time, but I have a feeling I'm going to be dipping a lot in between pinks and purples with this brush, doing kind of a mixture, so I don't want that to affect the kind of base color I lay down on this eyeball. So now dipping into the Magic palette, I'm going to take Eif, the only other matte we're working with, and I'm just going to start kind of tucking this in the outer corner of my eye and then carrying it through the crease, and I think a little bit under the lower lash line as well. So I know some of you are going to want some updates because people have been asking me for updates. <laughs> Today is Tuesday as I'm filming this. I think it's Friday when it's going up. And Felix got to come home from the vet yesterday night and he's doing really good. He's a very cuddly boy right now. He's feeling much better. He has his prescription medicine and prescription food actually. And hopefully if we just keep him on this food, this kind of thing won't happen again. But the doctor said that it's just common in male orange tabby specifically. He didn't have kidney stones. That wasn't the problem in his bladder. He had like a mucus plug or something like that. I don't understand why cars are driving by right now. Yeah, I don't really understand what any of this medical stuff means. I just know that he was gone for five nights and now he's home and I'm so glad. <laughs> Dipping back into that pink just to start buffing out this edge so it's nice and soft. But thank you to everyone who expressed concern for Felix and checked on me. I really appreciate it. But he's okay now and hopefully he'll stay okay for a long time. I guess we're winging this out a little bit because that's just what my hands decided to do. I wasn't necessarily for it or against it. I just didn't know we were doing that today. <laughs> so 
So now I'm gonna do kind of a half cut crease, but I don't feel like actually cutting my crease. And Juvia's Places shimmers are pigmented enough to kind of go over it without me having to work that hard, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna lay down some glitter glue first for maximum metallic payoff. This is the NYX Glitter Primer specifically. It's so good. And then I'm first gonna dip into Senegal and I'm just gonna take that on this flat brush, the exact same brush I just used to lay down the glitter glue. And I'm gonna place that just kind of in this outer portion of the eye right next to that purple. And I'm just gonna start creating kind of that cut just with the edge of this flat, flat brush. This would not work if I did not have a flat brush. The flat brush is key. How many times can I say flat brush? Wow, this is really pretty against the purple. I'm not usually one for bronzes. Like I just don't gravitate towards them because it's typically just boring. But wow, that's cute. Now I'm gonna dip into Newbie. I'm not picking up the palette because it's big, but it's in the Magic palette. It's that gold that we got dealt. I'm just flipping that brush over so the bronze is here, the gold is here. And I'm just gonna tuck that in the front half of this half cut crease. So it's gonna go from gold to bronze into the purple. And I love this gold because it's such a yellow based gold. It's so freaking pretty. And then really, I'm just gonna go back and forth between the gold and the bronze at this seam where they meet until it fuses together nicely. You see how perfect of a cute little cut crease moment that did? I didn't even have to cut my crease. Cut creases for lazy people like me. And now I'm gonna work on dipping lightly into eye for however you say it to start buffing out this edge. Shadow is not wanting to stick to this outer corner because life is hard right now and I'm stressed and I've been doing a lot of tutorials. So my eyes desperately need a break and I'm not giving it to them. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to pop that Mont Blanc shade. I'm just gonna kind of pop that in this front little portion. And I'm also gonna lay down some glitter glue. I'm just using the opposite end of that dual ended Anastasia brush that I was using for the purple. Oh, that's too much glitter glue. Just gonna pop it here so it looks nice and cute and metallic. And again, I really only want this focused in the front half. All these mixed metals on my eye are confusing. Bronze and gold and silver. And then finally, all that's left is my inner corner, and I'm gonna use the white shimmery shade from the Saharan palette. I'm just gonna use my pinky finger, cause why not? Man, I should do this whole look with only three brushes. How about it? That's so cute. I'm actually not minding this. I am gonna pop some eyeliner in my waterline though. This is the Velvet Violet from Pixie. I think that'll just be cute because of all the purple we have going on. All right, I'm going to do the same on the other eye, throw on my lashes, something on my lips, and we'll finish this up. This is the final look. What do you think? I'll, I will say, I had my doubts in the beginning that I was going to come up with something really cool, but I love this so much. Like, so, so much. I think all the colors just really flow together really nicely. Even with kind of that mixed metal where it goes from bronze to gold to white to silver, I think it all just really goes together nicely. I don't know why or how Juvia's Place is magic, but I just, I really like this final look. I love all the purple. For my lips, I went with I'm Royalty from Jeffree Star because I just felt like that purple would go with the purple in my crease very nicely. I just really like this. I think it's cute. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of how I use those colors? Would you have used them differently? I would love to hear your thoughts. I can't wait to see what Cher did. Hop on over to her channel, check out her video now. I can't wait to see it. I have a feeling she probably got something drastically different because, I mean, the color combinations we could have gotten are endless. And I'm really excited to see what she got. Thank you again for collabing with me. This was a lot of fun. And yeah. Let's do it again sometime. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beat Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post at least five days a week, sometimes six, sometimes seven. And I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye. I recommend sending her... I recommend sending...
What am I even saying right now?